Good morning, friends. I hope that you had a good spring break and you were able to take a technology break while you were at home. Today we are going to do a video reviewing some skills, but also going over some of your home learning packet skills. Okay, let's get started with some rainbow words. Today I'm going to go over some blue words. We have two, T-O, my, M-Y, blue, B-L-U-E, red, R-E-D, from, F-R-O-M, some, S-O-M-E, of, O-F, what, W-H-A-T, green, G-R-E-E-N, yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W, yellow. Please make sure you practice your rainbow words every day and you try to use your rainbow words in a sentence, okay? Okay, next I'm going to go over some fast facts. These are just subtraction facts and you should be practicing your fast facts at home, okay? We've got three minus three equals zero. Four minus three equals one. 5 minus 4 equals 1, 2 minus 2 equals 0, 5 minus 3 equals 2, 3 minus 2 equals 1, whoops, 5 minus 2 equals 3, 1 minus 1 equals 0, and 4 minus 2 equals 2. Okay, those were just some subtraction facts. I will do some addition ones at another time, but please make sure you are practicing. You can watch this video again to practice those facts and try to get some fluency, okay? Next, I'm going to show you some number flashcards. I'm going to ask you which one's more, which one's less. Okay, I have eight and nine. Which one is greater? If you said nine, good job. I have 11 and 18. Which one is less? 11, nice job. 13 and 15. Which one is greater? 15, 14, and 16. Which one is less? 14, 17, and 12. Which one is greater? 17. Okay, now I'm going to show you some more numbers, but I'm going to ask you What's one more or what's one less? So listen carefully. 19, what is one more? Should be 20. Seven, what is one less? Should be six. One, what is one more? Two. Five, what is one more? Less, four, two, what is one more? Three, oh. 12, what is one less? 11, okay my friends, you should be practicing your math flashcards every day. If you don't have some, you can make some with some paper. I made these with some paper at home, so it should be pretty easy. You just need a marker or a pencil, something to show you the number, the number name, and how that number looks. So 17 is 110 and seven ones. If we do fast fingers with teen numbers, you should be able to tell me that 17 is 10 and seven. Okay, so maybe you can play fast fingers at home with your family, with your brother or your sister, or your mom or your dad, or whoever's at home with you, okay?
Okay, so let's try a couple. I will do 10, 1, 11, 10, 10, 20, 10, 4, 14, 10, uh, 5, 15. Okay, Fast Fingers is a fast game you can play at home and you don't really need any tools, you just need your hands, okay? All right, for the next part of the video, I'm going to go over your home learning packet for the day. We have a packet and one of the pages looks like this. It tells you what week we're on and what day we're on. Since it's Monday and we are back from spring break, you should be starting with week one day one of your home learning packet. Okay, these are the activities you should be doing. How many, greater and less than, missing letters, sight word practice, reading comprehension. Okay, if you don't have a printer at home, a good idea is to just look at the pages on a computer or a tablet or a phone and try it on a different piece of paper. Your assignment today is to take a picture of one of your assignments for the day. So one of these that's in red, in the red box, and uh, do a video or take a picture and turn it into your dojo portfolio. I will comment on it and let you know how well you did. Okay, so let me go over a couple of these because I know there's five assignments. Um, if you can, it would be awesome if you could do all five. I know it's a lot. But you guys are smart and it should be pretty quick, okay? If you can't do all of them, you just do the best that you can and that's all that I ask for, okay? So the first one says how many. If you printed how many, it should look like this. It says how many, count, cut, and paste. So for this assignment, you just need glue and scissors and maybe some crayons to color the pictures because that's one of the kindergarten goals. It says Count the number in each set. Cut and paste the correct number in each box. So for number one, I counted the kitties. One, two, three, there's three kitties. So from the bottom, I cut out number three and I glued it to the correct box, okay? You should do the same for the rest of the animals or animal things on the page, okay? So that's your first math assignment. For the next one, it says greater and less than, and that's a page that asks you which number's greater and which number's less, and it shows you that an alligator's mouth open this way is greater than, and an alligator's mouth open this way is less than, okay? So on the page, it asks you to fill in each circle with the correct sign. So one of the problems shows you a six blank three. So you have to tell me which number is greater or less than, okay? So what I'm going to do is show with my symbol, either greater or less, which one is correct. So here I know that the six is greater or bigger than the three. So I'm going to make an alligator symbol eating the six, but staying away from the three because it is less, okay? On the other side, it's asking me to do the same for two blank nine. Which one is greater, two or nine? It should be nine, so I'm going to make my alligator symbol to eat the nine with his big open mouth and get stay away from the two because he wants more food, so the nine is greater, okay? You should complete that page with a pencil, and if you would like, you can turn that page into me on class dojo portfolio, okay? The next page asks you to fill in the missing letters. So this page is a page that is about phonics and writing, okay? So when you look at that page, you are going to see some words on there that are missing some letters, okay? The first one says, well, the directions say, fill in the missing letter for each picture, write the word on the lines. Okay, so it's going to show you a picture of a, of a thing, of an object, and then it's going to ask you to fill in the missing letter and then write it on the line. 
the first one looks like this. I didn't draw the picture, but it's a picture of a cat. So right now, all I have is k, a, and I need the last sound. If I say cat, I can hear that t, t, t is missing. K, a, t. What letter says t? We all know that T says t. So, oh, let me use a different color. So I'm going to fill in T in my box to show that that is the sound that is missing. And then I'm going to use my tracks appropriately to write k a t cat nicely on the tracks. When I am finished with this page, I can color the pictures and always make sure I write my name at the top of my paper. Okay, the next one asks you to do a sight word practice. Your sight word practice for week one, day one, is the word R. Okay, R. And that is also one of our rainbow words. So you are going to be practicing the word R. Make sure that you look at the directions carefully. The first part asks you to trace all of the letters in the word R with a pencil. A, R, E. Then you have to look for the word R and color the word R inside of the boxes. Last, you have to cut out the letters for the word R and paste them with glue in order to spell R correctly. Okay. And the last assignment is asking you to read and understand. So that's called reading comprehension. Your job is to read the story. You're going to highlight or use a yellow crayon to color in the at words like cat, the at family words, okay? The story is called Pat the Cat. So you can already hear that in my title, I have two words in the at family. Make sure you highlight the at family words. When you are finished, you're going to answer the questions that go with the story. Write the co correct word on the line. So after you're done reading Pat the Cat, number one is asking you, what is the cat's name? You're going to bubble in the answer with a pencil and then write the correct answer on the line. Okay, make sure you write in your nicest handwriting. And then when you're all finished, you can check off all of the boxes for week one, day one, and you can choose the one that you think you did the best and send me a picture or a video explaining on your dojo portfolio. Okay, remember I said that you are going to do your very best if for some reason it's too many to do in one day, you just do the best that you can. I want you to work really hard and try your best. Use your best handwriting. Use all your tools. Cut slow, no chumps. And if you have any questions, please send me a message on Dojo and I would be so happy to help you. Also, please make sure that you continue to work on ST Math, Lexia, and IXL. I will be doing some celebrations on Zoom tomorrow at 2 o'clock, so please make sure that you are waiting for that link tomorrow morning so that we can all see each other tomorrow. All right, my friends, I hope you have a good Monday. Work hard. Send me some pictures. I'm so excited to see your work. See you tomorrow.